many of you all play a string instrument? Wow. In Seattle Public Schools, we have almost 1,500 kiddos playing string instruments in fourth and fifth grade, which is so awesome and makes me really happy because I love string instruments so much. Welcome to String Time with Stephanie. My name is Kevin. No, joking. <laughs> it's not Kevin. It's Stephanie. There you go. Um, I teach at Tops K-8, which is in East Lake, and it has a, students from a lot of different places. I teach fourth grade orchestra. I teach fifth grade orchestra. I teach sixth grade orchestra, and then I have a seventh and eighth grade chamber orchestra. And I'm really excited to be working with you today. So we're going to re re review our finger patterns. We're going to do some bowing stuff with the D major scale. And then we're going to learn how to play Star Wars. You're going to want a pencil and you're going to want a piece of paper to write down some of the notes that we have. And you're going to need your instrument. So let's go ahead and get out our instrument now. So let's just review our bow hold. And for cello, our bow hold is really just all of our fingers nicely spread apart evenly. And then our thumb slightly bent. So if you kind of tip your hand upside down, we have our nice loose hand, just nice and relaxed, just kind of hanging down there. Yeah, nice and relaxed, you can just do what I'm doing here. And then see how my thumb is like tilted like that? Just a little bit, not super straight like that and not really, really bent, but just nice and loose. And if you have your knee, and I have to move my knee way up here because I'm, and I put my knee here, just let your hand relax on your knee, good and then bring it up, yeah, kind of floating like, and then move that thumb in and put your bow in your left hand like I'm holding there. Just go ahead and set your bow. Our pinky's kind of covering that dot there. And then we're just gonna lean on our first finger a tiny bit. That's it, and our thumb lives right there. Let's see if I can turn it so you can see it. Our thumb lives right there in between on the, on the brown part of the wood in between the wrapping and the frog. And it's just nice and bent. And that's it. Our pinkies are hanging down. We're kind of leaning on our first finger. And everything is loose. Let's do that one more time. So we're holding with the left hand. Put our, our hand on our knee, because we're gonna sit down to play the cello. Float your hand up. Float your hand up thumb in the middle, just kind of place that there, our pinkies over the dot, and then lean. And that's our bow hold for today. Go ahead and place it on your knee. Yeah, and I'm gonna place it on my hand since I don't, you can't see my knee. And we're just gonna kind of tap, and tap, and tap. Yeah, nice and loose. Awesome, we're ready to get out our instrument. Okay, so I have my cello here, and if you need an end pin, you need an, uh, your end pins adjusted. Remember that our pegs are right behind our ear. Yep, good. And your rock stop, everything is set. Yep, we kind of want to imagine there's like a little hamster on our shoulder sitting right there, so there's a lot of space. The cello's up against our body. Yeah, good, okay. And let's put our bow on the D string, checking our bow hold. Good. And let's just play four open Ds. One, two, check those wings. These are our wings. Make sure they're spaced, they're not crunched down like that. Just nice and spacey. Here we go, four Ds. One, two, and here we go. Good, listening for a big deep tone, ready again. Our bows are straight. Good, let's go to the A string. Ready, go. Good, big sound, and ready, go. Good, yeah, and check that bow hold. Make sure everything's loose. Good, let's play two Ds and two As. So D, D, 
A, A, D, D, A, A. Here we go. Bow on the string. One, two. Ah, oh, cello problems. Hashtag cello problems. Hair's in the way. One, two. Ready, go. <laughs> We've warmed up our bow, we've warmed up our bow hold. So we're gonna do our D major scale now. I have it written on this board here for you. We're gonna go up the D string, and remember that that little tent is marking F sharp and G for our half steps. Because finger number three and four, that's a half step, F sharp and G. There's no notes that fit in between there in the um, major scale. And then we're going to the A string, and then between the C sharp and the D, that finger pattern number one that we've already reviewed today. And let's do rhythm number one. There's a down bow and an up bow. Those are, what are those called again? Half notes. Awesome. There were two beats. We're gonna use a big long bow. We're gonna go D, E, F sharp, G, like that. Here we go. Bow on the string. Checking that first finger, that it's curved, that we're leaning, and that that finger is hanging over the pinky. Here we go. One, two, ready, half note. <laughs> Very good. Let's do our D major scale with rhythm number two. And we're going to go two notes or two Ds per quarter note. So D. D, E, E like that. And we're gonna go down, up, down, up. So bow on the string and for a down bow on the cello, it's really kind of more of a pull. We're gonna pull our bow downwards, but we're not going down, we're going over. So it's a pull motion. It's pull and then push. Good, here we go. One, two, ready, go. D, E. F sharp, G, E, C sharp, D, stay there, down, all four, very good. Who's ready to learn Star Wars? Oh, me too. But before we do, we have to learn triplets. And that is probably a new rhythm for a lot of you. Even though it's not hard to do once we know what it is, we haven't seen it in our music yet. And so this is the triplet pattern. It looks like eighth notes, but there's only three of them instead of four. And then there, there's a bracket at the top, and then it has a number three. That's how you know it's a triplet. And a triplet, three notes in a triplet take up one beat. So instead of like quarter, 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 it's triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. You could also say chocolate, 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 or banana, banana, banana. Oh my gosh, I have a joke for you. Are you ready? <laughs> You're not gonna think this is very funny. Um, what is Beethoven's favorite fruit? Banana, 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 banana. I know. I some of you already know that joke because you know me from summer music, and I told you there. Or some of you know it from Tops, or some of you have heard that in your music classes. But I think it's super funny. And we're gonna play little short bows. Ready, triple it. Here you go. Ready now. Triple it. Banana, 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 banana. On A. Ready, A. One. Good. That's important for Star Wars, that triplet rhythm. Here's what I need you to write down. If you haven't written anything down yet, you could write down your D major scale, I suppose, but I think you all know how to do that D major scale. Just do it in all the different rhythms. This is Star Wars. Now, that first one is open D, 
kind of a long one, and then an A, and here's our triplet, right there, G, F sharp, E. So I'm gonna play it for you, and then I want you to kind of think about it, listen, and then we're gonna try it together, and I'll give you some time. Here I go, List, just listening this time. <laughs> That's all it is. So it's a long bow D, A, G. Let's try it in slow motion together. One, two, ready, D. Yep, that's it. Let's try it a little faster. Ready, go. D, A, G, F sharp, E. Good, I'm gonna give you some time to practice that on your own. Cool, let's try it one more time together. This tempo, D, A, G, F sharp, E. That's good, ready, go. Nice. This next part, is a little bit tricky. We're gonna have to go from first finger E all the way up to four finger D on the A string. So this is gonna be four fingers on the A string. That's a high D, which is why I have that line drawn over the top. I don't know if you can see that. I'll show you a little closer. There, that means high D. Cool? So we're gonna play, I'll play it for you and then you can try it on your own. Just that much. So we're gonna play all the way to that high D. Let's try it together. Ready, and check that pinky. Like that. Awesome. And then the next part is the same. So the whole thing until there is. Just listening this time, and I'll give you time. That's all it is. So you try it on your own now. So this is it. I'm gonna sing it for you and then you can you can play it while I sing. Ready, go. D, A, G, F sharp, E, D, A, G, F sharp, E. Awesome, are you ready to try it all together? Here we go. Ready, go. Good. And then this last part is G, F sharp, G, E. Just try that. Just your turn. G, F sharp, G, E. Ready, go. G, F sharp, G, E. Our turn together. Ready, go. Awesome. That's it. And then when we put it all together, at the very end, we add all those Ds, just three Ds. So let's try it together, the whole thing. Ready, set, here we go. Yep, that's it. And so that E is a really long note. That's three whole beats there. Let's try it one last time, and then that is your job to practice. Hand ready, set, together, go. Awesome. That was so fun playing together. I really like playing with my students and I miss playing with my students just like I know your teachers do. I hope you have an awesome day. Thanks for tuning in to String Time with Stephanie and we'll see you next week.